Hi Team Song, Mr. Hagen here. Today I want to review how to use the adjust strategy to add. I'm going to show you a couple different ways. For most of you, this is not new. We did this right before we stopped coming to school. So I'm going to get started. Uh, mathematicians, it's important that you think about landmark numbers when you see a problem. So in this problem, 9 plus 23, I'm thinking which number is closer to a landmark number and I know 9 is really close to 10. So when you use the address strategy you change a number to a landmark number and then change it back after. So I'm going to show you two different ways to do this, two different models to show this kind of thinking. So an open number line. Just because 9 comes first doesn't mean I'm going to put it on the open number line first. Mathematicians normally like to start with a bigger number when adding, so then there's less jumping. So I start on 23. I know 9 is very close to 10, so I'm going to add 10. And I know that takes me to 33. Now I added 10 is one more than 9, so I added one more than I was supposed to. So now is where I do the adjust, and I go back 1 to 32. So 9 plus 23 is 32. Let's try 22 plus 11. Okay, now this strategy works for numbers that are close to landmark numbers, not just numbers that end in 8 or 9 or even 7. So in this example, I'm going to start with the bigger number, which is 22. Oops. And I'm going to actually add 10. So I make that jump of 10. That gets me to 32. But now I think about the number I was adding. Did I add one more or one less than I was supposed to? Well, I know that 10 is one less than 11. So I need to actually add one more. So now the adjust is actually going to be adding one more. So 22 plus 11 is 33. Okay, here's another one. 71 plus 25. So in this question, I'm just thinking flexibly now. Which number is closer to a landmark? Well, 71 is closer to the landmark. Now there's many ways to do this. Now, I could add in chunks. And some of you are probably thinking there's more efficient ways. But today we're just practicing this adjust strategy and you'll learn when to use it. So here I'm going to actually start on 25 and I'm going to add 70. So I'm going to make jumps of 10. So I'm going to say 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85. So I'm at 85. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. That's three, four, five, six tens. I have to do one more. So I jump to 95. Now I've added 70, so I need to just jump one more right now. So I'm gonna say one more. That takes me to 96. Okay, last example, 43 plus 18. So here, I know 18 is close to a landmark number, so I'm gonna start with the bigger number. I'm gonna add 20. And I'm gonna do two jumps of 10. So that puts me at 53, 63. But now I've added, I know 20 is two more than 18, so I need to jump two back. And that takes me to 61. So 43 plus 18 is 61. Now for those of you that really know how to do this, I wanna show you something different now, a different model. You can show your same thinking using the arrow way. And I know Miss Idy and I have both showed this. And today, you might want to show the adjust strategy using the arrow way 
instead of an open number line, or maybe you want to try both. So watch this. I'm going to do it in red next to the ones I've already done. So on this one, 9 plus 23, I start at 23. I jumped 10. That took me to 33. Then I subtract 1, and that got me to 32. Or in this one, I started at 22. I added 10. Then I added one more. And that got me to 33. So the arrow is just another model that you can show. Now this one, 71 plus 25, uh, this would take a lot. So I might need to just condense this by taking all the thinking I did here, because I had 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and I know that got me to 95. So some of you might be able to do this. You might be able to say 25 plus 70. That took us to 95. Then we needed to add one more. It took me to 96. Or here, I had 43 plus 20, took us to 63, then we had to subtract 2, and that got us to 61. Okay, mathematicians, this is your menu of choice. Now, you can go back and watch this and look at the examples. I want you to pick six problems from this menu. So we have one chilies, two chilies, or three chilies. You pick six total, and you do this on a piece of paper, uh, or if you have a, a pencil tool and an iPad where you can write out your work, but pick six and take a photo and share to this activity. Uh, some of you might want to try with one chili first, and if you get more confident, try some more difficult problems. But we'd like you to use the arrow way or an open number line to share your thinking around how you used a landmark number and then adjusted. All right, have fun.